Well, hi everybody, it's Susan Phelps in Sarasota, Florida. But today I'm in Nokomis. I came down to Nokomis to meet with a girlfriend to have lunch. And I decided to stop and see how Ventera by Taylor Morrison in Nokomis, Florida was coming along. So let's take a little tour of the site here. You won't be seeing any models here, but we'll go see the models across the street at Palmero. So don't go away and please subscribe and like and comment. I appreciate all, all of you viewers. Entering the front gates of the Ventura community, right across the street, from the entrance is the planned amenity center that will include a cabana, pool, grill area, and a butterfly garden. As a, there are four or five buildings that have been released. Some have been sold. This is a sixplex, and the others will be eight. That's going to be a nice green space. I think there will be a considerable amount of green space in this community. Check out that uh, coastal elevation. That's really pretty. Let's go into this Marigold model. Now this model is actually at Palmero, but it is the same model that is going to be built in um, Ventera with just a few minor changes. Let's go on inside. I know that you've seen this model before, but let's take a review look. Again, it's the Marigold. It's three bedrooms and two and a half baths. The end units have, of course, these added windows that the interior Jasmine units don't have. Now, one change that's going to happen in Venteria and Ventera, as opposed <laughs> to the Palmero model that we're looking at, is that these sliders are going to shorten just a little bit to a foot six, I believe, or is it six foot eight? Six foot eight. And the dishwasher is gonna change positions from under the sink to across. Not too much to write home about, but you'll see that there's a good sized pantry in this corner here. There are two set packages for these townhomes. The end units, the marigold, will be white cabinets, and the interior jasmine model will be a mix of white and gray cabinets. You have a half bath. makes it convenient for your guests. You have some understair storage. Always nice to have extra storage. And you have a one car garage. And these units are um, included. Hurricane shutters you see over there in the corner and hurricane proof garage doors. Let's run upstairs. At the top of the stairs is a little bit of an alcove that you could put a desk in or another piece of furniture. There's your HVAC unit and behind these double doors is your laundry equipment. To the left is your master bedroom and the owner's 
walk-in closet is a nice size. Nice bright windows to look out when you wake up in the morning. And here we have the owner's bathroom. We're going to see a little bit of a change in Ventura with the, the uh, shelf for the shower. Not too much. I think they're going to change those little shelves. But you have a double sink vanity. Walking down the hall. You have your full bath. Again, the quartz countertops are all included. First secondary to the left of the bathroom with a reach-in closet. Nice front window and the second secondary bedroom is on the other side. And again, with the marigold, you have an additional window on the end. So let's walk over to the Jasmine model. While there's no one here, and take a look at that. Nice little entry here. And again, it's a three bedroom, two and a half bath unit. This one's a little smaller. 1373 square feet, but it also has a garage, the under stair storage, and the half bath. And I mentioned that the end units will all have white cabinets and the interior jasmine models will have either gray or white. It's a pre-chosen package. What you get is, um, depends on which lot you buy. We have pretty much the same setup with the kitchen, a large quartz covered island. And again, this dishwasher will be moved to the other side. There is a nice little space here for beverages. A very decent sized pantry. And your living space beyond with your three sliders. And again, these will be a little shorter than in these Palmero models. So let's go upstairs. This is the main difference in the upstairs from the Marigold it is your laundry is right at the top of the stairs instead of that little alcove. Your owner's suite is to the right double sink vanity. And again, just to mention, the insert here will have maybe a few fewer shelves than what's shown here in this model. And we have more than adequate space for a walk-in closet. Moving through the hallway, we come to the full bath. Upstairs, single sink vanity, quartz countertops, nice tile. The rest of the uh, bedrooms, hallways are um, carpeted. This secondary room has been set up as an office but they always include the closet, not only in case this needs to be a bedroom, but for storage. 
and moving into the second secondary bedroom that faces out front with a reach-in closet. I wanted to give you some details about Ventera. Even though we're in Palmero, Ventera's um, townhomes are gonna be built a little differently in that they're offering a sixplex and an eightplex. So you have the marigold on each end of those buildings with a combination of the jasmine models with the gray or white cabinets, depending on what's been chosen ahead. The Ventura townhomes will be next to the amenities that will be included will be a resort pool, a pet park, uh, you'll have a cabana with uh, grilling space, and you'll have a butterfly garden. And the best thing yet is you're gonna be directly connected to Legacy Trails. And that's become so popular, everybody's really interested in Legacy Trails. Another very good point for Ventura is there is no CDD. Your fees top out at about $272 a month, $816 a quarter, so $272 a month, and that includes your irrigation water and even your potable water. So you're not going to have a water and a sewer bill, which is really nice because that's not cheap. You'll, of course, have your trash removal and your cable um, build on your annual tax bill. We're looking at um, a good location because, well, I just left Nokomis. I, have, I had lunch at um, Captain Eddie's and that was a great place to sit outside and listen to a little music and get some sunshine. And it's just beautiful here this time of the year. So your outside patio slab is uh, separated by a privacy wall. You can screen them in, but it has to be a certain style of screening and it has to be approved by the um, architectural review committee, of course. Now, let's see what else I have here to share with you. There's going to be 178 townhomes in the Ventura section. They have sold, as we speak, uh, 28. So they've got a little ways to go. So depending on what your timeline is, you might want to get in touch with me pretty soon to get in on some of the new releases that are going to be ready sooner than later, of course. And let's close with incentives. Right now there's a $20,000 incentive and you can use that any way you want. You can use it towards your closing cost. You can use it to buy down your rate and you can use it to lock in that rate. So that sounds pretty good. There was a customer that Alice Stopira, who is my favorite rep here, she said that one of her customers got used some of that money to buy down his rate from 7.5 to 5.7, I believe. And that, that makes a big difference. The exteriors will look a little different than they do here in uh, Palmero. In Ventura, they're going to be all coastal. And I've dropped in a photo here of what that coastal exterior looks like, and it's really pretty. So if you have any questions about this neighborhood, the location, which is great, um, you're very close to, to uh, Sarasota, just drive straight through Osprey, which takes about five minutes, and you're off of 681, which takes you out to the interstate, and so you're shopping down to the UTC or up to the UTC mall is very convenient and you're very, very close to Nokomis Beach, one of the nicest beaches around. So give me a ring, let me know if you have any interest and please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment.